What's up, everybody? This is your boy Kendrick back at it again, presenting to you another replay cast between two of my favorite European players at the moment. We have Side, uh, the man with the glorious beard, excuse me, ex beard, from France, <laughs> representing the undead race against my countrymen, my German brother from another mother. It is Spiral, representing the orcs in the bottom left corner here, and they're facing each other on Northern Isles, one of the best maps, in my personal opinion, in the current competitive map pool. So, Who's excited? Me. I raise my hand. I'm very excited to see these uh, two players duke it out, especially in this matchup because Oryx against Undead, it's a matchup that's very avidly discussed at the moment, I would say, especially from uh, Undead players. Happy, uh, one of the best, and I say one of the best because his recent because of his recent results against 1-0. Uh, if you had seen this replay one week, two weeks earlier, I would have said the best Undead player in the world, but you know, Players like Happy and countless undead uh, fellows of his, uh, they're not really happy with the current state of this matchup. You know, they say it's hard, it's so hard to execute, and I remember having Hitman on the Fight Night interview earlier, he too admitted that it's a little bit easier for the undead player to mess it up. You know, undead players have to be their tippy toes against Orc all the time. Otherwise, they're losing their fiends in the early mid game, and uh, if you lose too many of them, the game might as well be over from that point. Raiders, such a pain, such a thorn in every undead side. But speaking of which, we see the Dreadlord coming in. That's a side special right there. No fiends to be seen here at all. We see a Dreadlord Ghoul fast expansion coming through on Northern Isles. I, I think, I would, I would just assume it has to be a fast expansion, right? If you're going for that route, you have to go for the fast expansion. And he goes for a Farseer. Spiral going for the Farsi harass early on with the Feral Spirits. Of course, if you get caught by a sleep surround, a forced you're forced to, to use the TP. And then the expansion goes through, which is basically the major strength of this strategy, right? Of this build order. The Dreadlord, so dangerous. But not going over for the natural expansion camp immediately. Or is he? See, one skeleton stack activated it's going to use this piggy here the piggy corpse for the second round of skellies he does have a sacrificial skull of course to allow a little bit of extra health region of course it also allows you to build the ziggurats or other buildings that you want to get there immediately let's see sleeping the ogre magi very important you don't want to have blood lusted uh, trolls here decimating your ghouls lifting great damage first cigarette coming through and it looks like Spiral. He either knows what's coming, because Sight is quite known for this strategy, actually. So he either knows what's coming, he doesn't care, he's gonna visit it later, or he doesn't know, and will get caught off guard. A player of Spiral's caliber, of course, these two players, they know each other very well as well, both being from Europe, after all. I think he knows. Let's actually go into the vision of Spiral. And he did see it. Did he, though? Uh, I... Hard to say. I, I think he probably saw it, or at least he knows what's coming, so... He's gonna have a solution ready, of course. Early tech, early raiders. This will be the most suitable uh, response. And now, at the very latest, he knows, of course. Why would the Dreadlord be here with ghouls? You know, why would there even be a Dreadlord in the first place? Oh, almost going for a surround on the Grunt here. Now, with the Sleep Surround, that might be the end of this Grunt. The Nerubian Tower is soon to be finished, too. Oh, he needs to close the gap. He can't really afford. He goes for the hero instead. Did have enough mana for another sleep. Oh, no! Side, he doesn't get it. Tries again, though. Health and mana. Not depleted yet on the Dreadlord. This is the TP. Very early on in Spiral. I like what he's doing. He's not waiting until his Farseer goes down into the Reds. He goes for it immediately so he can come back with the Harass immediately as well. By the way, Enchanted Gold Mine. No longer... Uh, not even in production. Probably due to some lumber issues here. When you use your ghouls for an extended period of time, you know, the lumber, lumber income is crippled. But you have to use this many ghouls to really keep the orc hero at bay. So yeah, man, here we go. Spiral now takes a tally staff. Very nice. Needs to closely watch the Dreadlord's mana now, though. One sleep? Okay, but if he has enough mana for two sleeps, then your tally staff might get interrupted, and then you're in some real trouble. Right now, though, he sees 108 mana. That's that's fine. Definitely safe against uh, surrounding maneuvers right now. It's a little bit of extra experience from the Skellies. Inside, for him, it's all about buying time until this haunted gold mine is ready. Until the Necropolis is ready. He even has some ghouls here for eventual 
Um, feral spirit, spirit wolf drive bys, or run bys, you should say. And of course, the tech is so delayed right now. The tech, I, I'm not even sure when that undead tech is going to start because lumber problems are really grave, really heavy. So now we see a two prong attack here by side. Tries to really go for the hero. This is all you want to do at this stage of the game. You want to keep the orc hero low. Oh my goodness. And here comes a Pandaren Brewmaster. Look at this TP. Not even TP in home to base. He stays in the fight right now. No more sleeps available. For side, he might get the body block in though regardless. And now comes to sleep just barely, you know, right on the edge. Gets the first hero of the orc player. At what cost though, side? At what cost? The chain lightning was rattling through. And the Pandaren Brewmaster, of course, with that fire breath. Oh my goodness. Here come the towers. Spiral says, not on my watch and tries to really punish this greedy opening by side to the best of his ability the haunted gold mine though finished double gold income we need to see more ghouls now definitely should go for a second crypt oh my god this aoe damage is real though but the towers are being kept down very nicely done by side so far takes a lot of damage on the ghouls though has this one tower was one tower too greedy maybe does he need another one now all of a sudden the Dreadlord gets to taste his own medicine. Takes a lot of damage already. Does have a Talisman of Evasion, by the way. Coming in through really hugely right now. Every sort of damage mitigation onto the Dreadlord is huge. While fighting on Unholy Ground, of course, he regenerates health quite significantly faster. And now we see the Tango. The Tango of Towers, if you will. Destroy some, build some. Destroy some, build some. Because of the uh, better value of the Orcish units right now, and the double hero, of course... This is a, a trait that I think, in the long run, Spiral will win. Yep, gets another ghoul for his efforts. Soon to be level 2, and this is really when things are going to escalate for the Pandaren Brewmaster, man. Ooh, 75 mana is all he needs for the Breath of Fire. Can he actually land it? Oh my god, oh my god! Here comes the TP! Here comes the Staff of Tele Rectation! And the Farseer destroys the Dreadlord! Surprise, Mother Trucker, and <laughs> Spiral just keeps the siege up, but it looks like Side is not done for now. He still has some ghouls to kick those towers permanently. Even Acolytes are helping out right now. He actually keeps producing Acolytes. Alright. And you know, the grunts, I mean, the ghouls are elusive. They're fast. They're elusive, you know. Nice micro here by Side as well. And now has a second Ziggurat there at the ready. And you know, this constant... Build tower, cancel tower. Build tower, can cancel tower. That's actually getting a little bit expensive too for Spiral. True, he cancels them every time, but still he loses resources every little... Oh god, he, another ghoul dies. And now the Acolytes are naked and exposed. This is looking nastier and nastier for Side. Side's wounds are gushing with blood. Can the bleeding still be stopped, though? We see a whole bunch of ghouls coming in here, by the way. These are all the ghouls that Sai was able to save earlier with Great Micro. So the reinforcements are huge, actually. The slow is even uh, very lethal here at this point. Tries to go for the Farseer. Can he go through? Telly Staff was probably still on cooldown because he used it earlier, and all of a sudden, the first hero spiral is falling. Great Ghoul Micro. And the second hero already, there's so many ghouls, it almost feels like the Walking Dead. You know, the Pandaren looks left. Looks right, there's too many undead beings nearby. And all of a sudden, just like that, even level 3 won't save him. GG! Or is it? Level 3 for the Dread Lord. Level 2 sleep, so much better now. Yeah, another Grunt Falls. Ay, ay, ay. And this might be it, right? There's no counter expansion plans for a Spiral. He could have actually done that. Yeah, he calls the GG. Spiral... He had that game on lock almost, it felt like. The moment he killed the Dreadlord, huge. The question now remains, though, should he maybe have built a Voodoo Lounge nearby? Should he have maybe gone for the towers a little bit further away from the undead base? It was so hard to determine, really, what he could have done better. And he almost had it, too. Sides, surrounding skills, though, very much on fleek in this game. So, definitely a deserved win. Also... You know, some undeads maybe would have left the game when the Dreadlord was gone and the towers were building up, you know. Some some undeads would have maybe lost it. But not side and not today. I hope you guys enjoyed this replay. And if you did, feel free to reward us with a thumbs up or a subscription here on the YouTube's channel on Heroes Hearth Warcraft 3. There will be tons of more content coming through in the future. 
So we're very glad to have you on our side on this Warcraft 3 slash Reforged journey. Until then, see you in the next video. Peace.